All right, guys. I'll make it look a little prettier when I uh, touch it again. But wow, your underlying energy is very similar to Aries, which is the Ace of Wands. So this is a new beginning for a lot of you guys, a new passionate beginning, okay? Starting something new, starting something uh, fresh. You're, you're, there's a lot of hype around this energy. Love it. But this is also surrounding, you know, like I said, passion, creativity, your heart's desire, and authenticity, right? Being real. Um, and this is action influenced by emotion. So whatever your heart is desiring or whatever you're, you know, whatever you've been working, you know, whatever you want, it's all about the journey in doing it, the getting it done. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a look, see what's happening in your current state of being. Well, underneath here, you have the hangman's. I think there was a period in time in which you guys had, you know, there was some waiting. Or you guys were maybe feeling stuck in limbo, right? But this was in, this was for the purpose for you of, you know, finding something or looking at something at a, from a different angle, a different perspective. And I feel like y'all got it now because there's a new beginning starting. There's a time of period, there's a time period of, you know, stagnancy. Now this improves some progression. Now currently though, you do feel exhausted and beat down and a little defensive, right? I feel like you guys potentially have been pushing through a situation diligently for quite some time and it's exhausting. Right? It would be. Who how it would totally be exhausting considering everything that you've gone through. Right? And I feel like you just want things to kind of move forward and charge your head and you know, fight for things. But however, the thing that's keeping you right now is that something is not finished yet. Something isn't done. Something hasn't wrapped up completely. All right. I think there was just there's a lot of like you know defensiveness and trying to build up walls and things like that. For, you know to protect yourself from things that you've been d dealing with. So there's boundaries that were put in place to protect you and keep you from being able. You know, for, well to to protect you and keep you up and running and going for what it is that you have passion for, or at least. Which is, you know, still working very hard to obtain here. But the Ten of Cups here is the situation. It's like you're not, you don't feel happy. You don't feel satisfied here because you're emotionally done, right? But there's something that is ne needs to be completed here, emotionally completed. And I feel like it is because some potentially someone walked away, or that somebody really just wasn't interested anymore. Okay. Um, so your best path to follow is the world. Let's see how this is. Is complete the cycle. Because the world is a very successful ending. It's a very happy ending. Or at least it does provide a better, you know, a better uh, you know, ending than, the, than most of the re endings combined. Best out of all of them. And this ends karmic stuff. It's Saturn congratulating you. Saturn's gift to you when you complete a cycle. You want to complete this. Whatever that you, whatever you guys wanting to start right now, you're doing the in between worlds bit where you may be trying to end something, and before you've ended it, you've started something new. So that could be kind of like everything's kind of piling on itself, and you're like, what the. F what the hell happened here? And it could, it's just that there's a lot of mess going on at the same time. Ending a cycle and beginning something new. I feel like you want to have a little more fun. You want to stretch your wings out and be free. Go after things, right? But something hasn't finished itself yet. So the advice is to talk about, just, you know, I, the thing I was thinking in my head when I saw the world card and your best path to follow, I don't know if y'all played Mortal Kombat 10 or anything like that, um, and, but I can hear him. I can hear the narrator say, FINISH HIM! FATALITY! You know, it's just, <laughs> I can hear that. That's what I'm thinking when I see the world. FINISH HIM! <laughs> and that's what you guys gonna have to do right now. You're gonna have to just finish it. Um, I get that, the Page of Cups, you guys have an idea of what you want, and I feel like you guys have expressed your emotions, or at least you're, you're very, you're, you're, honestly, this is beginning of puppy love, right? Beginning of love all together, together, nurturing and loving on something that you feel is very precious to you. Love. For some of you guys, you guys may have either, either offered someone love, or you have, you know, this is about the offer someone else's love, but... 
I really feel like this is you guys, you know, you know, feeling more alive. Because you got wands, you got cups. To me, that is feeling more alive. Okay. And I think this is honestly, you've been in a, in a very beat down state for a little bit, and I feel like you guys are just trying. You feeling, you feeling desire again. You want to go for that desire, but there's, there's this thing here that's that you can, it can be fulfilled, right? I think the situation just wasn't satisfying, but perhaps there was like a, like there's a, the hangman situation where things things stopped moving because. It was like, okay, I'm not interested anymore. But there was no real progress in moving somewhere else or getting something else. Or maybe there was, but there is some sort of, you know, some sort of karmic stuff that needs to go down, you know, that needs to complete itself. But there's something here that needs to complete itself. The Ten of Cups here can also mean family. Perhaps there is a situation with that regards to a family and the Knight of Swords. Perhaps it's like this age difference that's coming up. Um, um, and maybe there's this a situation with, you know, family for some of you guys. But I'm not getting that for a lot of you guys. I mean, I'm, I mean, this is only for very few. I don't know, something's going on with family for you guys. So, you know, you guys are just either being, you know, you know, being strong for your family or kind of having to kind of put up some walls or boundaries with your know, with family members that may be overstepping a little bit. I don't know, that's just me. But I do get this feeling that there is just this desire to go ahead and get what you want, which is in your feelings. In your hopes and fears, though, you have the King of Swords, which is someone that is, honestly, the mature version of the Knight of Swords. He doesn't necessarily run after, you know, after whatever. Or he doesn't, you know, fight people and be very combative with individuals about whatever it is that they want. Right, or what their truths are, what their beliefs are. But he's very solid and very good, you know, he's cool with himself. He's cool with anybody else's beliefs and stuff. Don't come with to him unless you're ready to argue, you know, argue with the mofo, right? Unless you're ready to get destroyed. Because he will destroy it and dismantle all arguments. He's good at doing that. But most importantly, this is being able to know what your truth is. And I feel like for you, Taurus, you want to be walking in your truth. You want to be walking, you want to walk the talk. Right, I think you've been kind of holding back from the talk, what the talk, but it's getting, the, the, honestly, the gates are breaking. The, the dam is breaking, Taurus. You're tired of having to keep yourself censored. You're tired of having to keep going with the whole, <laughs> I'm cool. No. You're tired of it. You want to be more real. You want to be more out there. Somebody crosses you, you know, crosses you and you know, pisses you off, you want to let them know. And you can do that. You can definitely do that. But yeah, but there's something here that needs to be completed first in order to start something new. Something here needs to be reestablished here. What if I actually pull for this? Why is the Ten of Cups coming up? I know it's like the ending of some sort. Of, something needs to be completed. I feel like there is some sort of like some. I mean, dissatisfaction in the relationship, but or dissatisfaction in your life, love life, you know, in any way. But I feel like it's like saying that there's unfinished business here. Keep holding on. Don't give up. Yeah, because strength is in your outcome. Yeah, strength in your outcome is talking about just allowing that little, that lion's purge, that passion to purge, right? Because eventually you will have that opportunity. And I feel like you should be able to do that now. You shouldn't be having to wait to until X, Y, Z to happen, right? Just be that way now. You don't have to end the cycle to be who you truly are. That's my opinion. Right? And I don't think it's saying to wait till the ending happens. I feel like it's saying to, you know, it's, yeah, it's saying that the situation is not over, I feel like, with the world being your advice, right? There's something, or this thing blocking you, this Ten of Cups. For some of you guys, it could be that there's an, an emotional cycle that has ended, because of some dissatisfaction, but that's your, but that's like, I don't know, I feel like it, this cycle here, even though it's ended here, it's still somewhat relevant in keeping you from being truly yourself. Well, the world would be then at that point is just be, right? Be yourself. It's a transition from one phase to the next. It's just true to just, it's, it's just totally okay to be yourself. It's strength coming up. It's totally okay to be yourself. 
Let's see what is what is what else can you tell us with the about the uh, ten of cups? What else can you tell us about the ten of cups? What else can you tell us about the ten of cups? Death. Releasing something to gain space for the new. Oof. Yep, that's what that means. It's transitioning. There's a transition. Okay, so yeah, completing something really for this is definitely saying let go of what the past was showing. It's time to release what this period was. Let's finish it, right? Let it go. And I'm not saying this is like this doesn't mean anything, but I feel like there was some some walls you build up to protect yourself during the cycle. Perhaps it wasn't the easiest for you, and I think that when I mean really when. They keep saying finish it or whatever and they're saying you have to complete the cycle. It really just means it's time to release the cycle. Release what you've been through with it. Yes, you've walked away and it wasn't satisfying and it was probably honestly very difficult to kind of go through because this is emotional based. But I don't think you're actually here anymore. I don't think you're actually in this, in this cycle anymore. So you can be the strength card. You can let that passion out. You can be that fire. Right? With reason, right? Don't hurt anybody. But you guys have this in you. Just let it purge. It'd be so strange to say, oh no, hold back. Don't be you for like X, you know, X, X amount of days or weeks or months. And it's like, that'd be weird. It'd be totally against you know, what I believe. It'd be like, what? What do you mean, don't be yourself? If you are who you are now within the cycle, then you definitely just go ahead and be whatever you want. You don't wait till the ending of the cycle, so that's why I had a pull, and that's why it came up with that. Okay, yeah, that's why it came up, y'all. If you are who you are, let it out, because you don't want it to bubble over and you know cause a create a catastrophe. Just be who you are, and I feel like the hopes and fears is not necessarily you guys wanting to be cold and heartless. Of course, you don't want to be someone that's just. Uh, you know, hard to be, you know, be around. I just think you want to be more, you want to be, you know, you want to be true to you. You want to say what you want to say. You want to be who you feel you should, you, you want to be, you want to be who you truly are. Let your friends help you is your card for the week. And it says, ask for help and accept your, uh, accept support from others. So maybe there's some people around you that can provide you with advice. Right now, the king of the king of swords is an advisor. Anyway, he's really good at helping individuals. He's very good at making you know finding solutions or being a consultant for a different perspective and ideas. He's also considered a lawyer as well. He's good at arguing. So not along with this. So that's why I was you know that's all that's also why I was kind of getting the family vibe too. You may have friends around you or family that are willing to help you as well. But release whatever pride you have regarding your family. It's probably not going to help. Okay. Like, if they can help you, let them. You don't have to do it solo. You don't have to do it by yourself. Nine of Wands is exhausted energy, and he's finding that war by himself. If he had help, I'm sure he would take... I'm sure it would be very useful for him. But don't let... Don't let your pride keep you from being able to receive help, Taurus. Okay, let that happen. Let's go ahead and take a look at your whispers of love. And it says, the union of hearts. This is pretty much similar to the, um, to the lovers here. Very similar to the lovers. And it says, there's a connection of love that defines explanation. That's why you guys are feeling in love. I feel like y'all know who this person is already. And you have this drawing. Like, you feel this draw to this individual. And I feel like you may have had this wall up for a while and it's about being authentic to you. That's kind of what you guys want to be. You want to just go for it. But then it's at the same time, you just completed a cycle that was a little bit scary and a little bit and very unsatisfying. But this is different. This is a new beginning. This is a new fire. This is a new Taurus that we're talking to. Uh, I'm talking to. Let that fire come out. You feel passionate for this person? Let it happen. Because this is done. The finishing part is just releasing it now. 